Pisces. Welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 21st through the 27th of August, 2022. Hope you guys have had a really good week. I want to take a quick second just to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. Also, keep in mind that in a general reading, the energies can reverse or flip-flop, and that's not at all unusual. And if you are interested in qualifying for a free personal tarot reading that I will be giving away at the end of this month, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit the like button and also drop a comment. So, subscribe, like, and comment. All right, and I will put you in the drawing for that free personal tarot reading. All right, Pisces, let's get started on your reading. Spirit, can I have the energy of Pisces? Pisces. Energy of Pisces. All right, Pisces, you are starting out with the magician. So you're manifesting. You have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. And you have Justice. Interesting. It's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, air sign energy for you here, Pisces, which is not typical of your sign. So, with the Magician, I do see that you are manifesting something. Um, I also see that there's something or someone that you may have cut out. You may not be very happy about that. Um, or it could have been that you feel cut out from something. Regardless, I feel that there's a sense of you not being happy about the circumstances. And I also see that there is, um, and I feel like it's you that's doing the cutting out, to be honest. Um, but there's a sense of justice that's involved with this. So this may be a karmic justice. If it was you that was cut out in this uh, situation, I feel like you may be calling for karmic justice here, um, which may be also what you're manifesting, although it feels to me like this is a different energy from, from this energy here. Um, with this energy, I do feel that there is an element here that um, is hidden, that you're hiding um, an element. And I'm not saying that in a, you know, like a um, deceptive kind of way, it could be that um, you're not even aware of this, but there is something that um, I feel like is not, it's just not accurately presented in some manner. And it may not be conscious. It could be an unconscious thing. Let's see who might be in your energy. Show me who is in the energy of Pisces, please. Manifestation may have something to do with fire sign, or it could be something about um, a, some new beginning of some sort that you're passionate about. What is in the energy of Pisces? Okay. All right, so the person in your energy, we have the seven of coins in the reverse. The King of Cups. So you could be dealing with a fellow water sign. Um, that would be another Pisces like yourself or a Scorpio or a Cancer. However, I feel like that is more uh, their focus on you. Um, and then coming out together, we have the Queen of Cups along with the Eight of Coins. Now, the person in your energy, they may have experienced a loss of some sort. Um, could have had to do, if your person is, um, involved in agriculture in any way, it could have to do with agriculture. If, uh, it, they have anything to do with machinery or manufacturing of machinery or, um, anything to do with machinery, 
especially that would have anything to do with agriculture, that the loss could be involved with that in particular, but it doesn't have to be. Um, what I can tell you is that I feel like this person has lost some money. There's been a loss of investment. Your manifestation might have to do with, in some way connected with this. I don't know if maybe you um, had some investment with this as well, and it may be affecting you, or you may just be manifesting um, in connection with this person. But I do see that a loss. I see, um, I see also that this person has a lot of love for you, Pisces, and they are very focused on you at this time. They feel that they are a perfect companion to you. Um, and I can also see that this person is balancing themselves out with regard to emotion. They're balancing out their feminine and their masculine side. Um, which is which is a very good energy here. Um, I do feel like this person's under some stress, and it's probably in relation to these this financial loss or the whatever this loss is. Um, but I do feel like they are really balancing themselves out emotionally. They may have their hands in many different things at this time. Or want to. Um, very focused on you. Definitely very focused on you. They may feel that you're angry with them frequently. And they may not understand that. Um, there's also a fear that they have. That uh, you, you um, will reject them. And I'm also seeing that they are willing to put the work into this connection. Um, they're also working on themselves in order to create this balanced um, emotional um, self. So this is somebody who's really putting a lot of work into themselves. They're also working with regard to this loss. Um, yeah, this the person in your energy, I have to say, Pisces, this person has a pretty good energy here. Let's see, um, let's see the energy between the two of you. The world. So there's a cycle that either has completed, so a new cycle can begin, or it's about to. I do feel like, um, I do feel like there's a, I don't feel like it's about to, I feel like there's a cycle that has begun already. A cycle has already ended and a new cycle has begun. I feel like you manifested this. Maybe that's what it is that you're very passionate about. Um, be careful, Pisces, if there's, um, if there's things that you, are not fully revealing to this person because um, I think it will affect the connection and it might it feels unconscious even I also feel like the person that you're connected with has a fear of fully investing in the uh, connection but they are trying to so what I'm seeing is that and this could be old energy as well I see you having manifested this, but I, I also see, Pisces, you wearing a little bit of a mask in as far as coming into the connection and the person that you are with, um, they're, they haven't always fully invested. And both of you, it's a fear base that is prompting that. Maybe that's the cycle that's ending, though. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's affecting this connection. Judgment. So the two of you must have just recently come together or you're fixing to come together. So, so Pisces, if you are in separation right now, I feel like you, the two of you are going to have a second chance if you want it. Now, some of you may not want that. 
Um, but others of you, I do feel like you do want that. The person that's in your energy, they didn't always fully commit to this connection. They deeply love you though, and they feel that they are your divine partner. So I do feel that this person will be coming back if they haven't already. For some, it depends because I'm seeing different, uh, it's the same timeline, but it, I see people at different junctures of this timeline. Um, for some of you, you may have cut this person out. And now this, I feel like they will be the one who returns. Um, for others, this may have already happened. Um, I can see regardless, you were not happy about doing that. It's not something that you really wanted to do. But I do see, I do see a coming back together and it is being guided. It's, uh, it's, um, being guided by, um, divine forces. So let's see your outcome at the end of the week. Ace of Swords. Okay. So for those of you who are not together, you haven't been speaking. Um, yeah, you're going to have this communication. You're going to have clarity. For those of you who have already come together because this cycle has already ended, um, I see that there's going to be a conversation that's going to bring a lot of clarity here. It's going to balance everything out. Your person is really working to balance themselves out emotionally and also to balance out this connection. Um, they, they think about you a lot. And I see that you are working towards balance as well. But there's something here about justice. So I don't know um, exactly what happened here, Pisces, but a, some of you guys, a lot of you guys, in fact, are, are asking for justice in this. So I don't know if your person did something that, and you felt that you had to cut them out, but there's a need for justice to come into the situation. And it's going to. Um, it's going to. There's going to be... There's going to be clarity. It'll be a breakthrough that's going to occur. Um, truth is going to come in. It's going to bring that clarity. It'll come through communication. At the bottom of the deck is the Page of Swords in the reverse. Now, that's underlying energy. So, again, for a lot of you, there is a lack of communication. For those of you that are communicating, there's been a lack of, you know, truth or clarity and that's changing. And that's underlying all of this because this is underlying energy. So let's clarify. And you know, Pisces, um, this is shared energy. So I also feel like you may be getting clarity from your person as well. Um, they may feel that you're not coming in completely transparent with them too. So, because I am feeling some of that energy, but it does not feel like it's intentional somehow. So, let's see why the Magician is here. Air sign energy here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so we have the Nine of Coins reversed. We have the King of Swords reversed. Yeah, there's that loss again. So I feel like the manifestation is in connection to a loss. There's some kind of a loss. Um, it doesn't feel like it's necessarily your loss, but it could be. And I feel like you're manifesting with regard to this. Um, there's a sense of being very uncomfortable with this loss, maybe even angry. So it could be for some of you that someone has stolen from you. And you're very upset about that. Um, that may be why you're asking for justice. And for some of you, there's legal implications to this as well. I don't feel like it's with this person, though. Um, for others of you, you're just feeling that loss. Um, and I feel like it makes you it makes you uneasy. It makes you feel uncomfortable. 
So I do see you manifesting with regard to that. Um, why is the Queen of Swords here in reverse? We have the Fool in reverse, and we have the King of Cups in the reverse. You may have some fears about coming back together with this person. I do feel like, um, because you have the King of Cups in the reverse, your fears would be related to whether or not they're going to open up their heart fully. You may feel that this person is emotionally unavailable at times or that this person shuts down emotionally. This is something that they are working on, and I also feel like that's going to be communicated. That may make you angry when that happens. Um, and I do feel like you, you will have some fears, or you do already have fears, about having a new beginning with this person because of that um, energy. why justice is here okay ace of swords so it's the same ace of swords and the seven of wands so there may be somebody outside of this connection as well that is uh affecting the connection and if there is you're going to get the truth about that you're going to have clarity about that that person could be a libra I feel like you're going to stand your ground and you're going to tell the person that you, because that directly has to do with this person. Um, if there is someone else that is involved somehow in this connection in any way, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that they're, you know, like a dating scenario. It could be, um, it could be like, uh, siblings of this person or parents or you know it could be friends um it could be anything actually but i feel like there's some kind of outside influence and for some of you it could be during the separation that the two of you um dated other people so it could be on your side as well um, could be your family or siblings. Either way, I feel like you are going to, you're going to uh, set that straight. You're going to stand up to these people. And if it's on their side, you're going to, you're going to tell them you want them to stand up to that. That energy. Yeah. And I feel like it's going to happen during this conversation during this uh, moment of clarity. I also feel like you, you've you gotten very clear that to balance this out, Pisces, this, this uh, connection, that you have to fight for this connection. So let's look at their energy now. Spirit, why is the seven of coins? Wow, that was fast. Oh, it's a two of cups and the page of swords. They may have been very distracted, Pisces. <laughs> so the loss occurred while they were watching you. Now, as I say that, I can see that you were watching them too. So it was both of you were kind of watching each other um, during any separation. This loss may have occurred though while they while they were watching you. And I also feel like for a period that this person was not investing in the relationship with you. So you were over here manifesting them. You, you thought they were angry. You were grieving actually. You were grieving this connection. And I feel like um, you felt that they were very angry with you, but you were manifesting it. And meanwhile, they were over here thinking about how much they loved you, wondering what they were do, what you were doing, curious about what you were doing and who you might be doing it with. And that's when this loss occurred. It's almost like their attention was diverted 
uh, why is the King of Cups here? They do watch you. They, if the two of you have not reunited yet, um, you will because I'm seeing a cycle ending and it's this cycle of loss. And I see a reunion that's directly affecting the connection. I see communication. I feel like this person will be the one to approach. And it's because they want to be on the same page with you. They want to bring this connection back together again. They see you as a soulmate, as a spiritual connection. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and the Chariot in Reverse. They're stuck on you. <laughs> they want a new beginning. Yeah, they, they, they just want a new beginning with you. They want something stable. Um, they're not able to move forward away from you. They want to be with you. So let's see. Uh, so they do think about you a lot. All right. All right, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups in the reverse. And we have the Emperor. Now, during this separation, um, this person was very conflicted. So if you're still separated, and like I said, some of you are, some of you are not. Um, for those of you that are still in separation in particular, this person is experiencing a lot of conflict. They know they have to kind of take charge of their, of their own life. Um, they also... They also, um, in taking charge of their life, they know that they have to, A, attend to <laughs> their work life because of these losses. And they, they uh, have, this person could own a business or they could be, um, they could be a business owner or a boss of some sort because they have the emperor energy. Um, they like to be in charge. They like to they like to call the shots. Regardless, they are taking charge of their life. Now, some of them brought in competition because they see you as the Queen of Cups. They see you as their perfect mate, but yet during the separation, they've brought in competition. It won't last um, if that has happened. This might be what you're calling for karmic justice for and I do believe you will get that so it, it would have been this person bring the person in your energy Pisces that brought in competition um, and I also feel like if there is conflict between the two of you that caused this ending I feel like uh, this conversation, this clarity is, I think you're going to stand your ground with regard to whatever that is. But I do see a, I do see a big conversation happening. And that's on, that's on regardless where you are on this timeline. I'm seeing a big conversation. Let's look at the world. Why is the world here? Temperance and the hangman. My ears just started ringing. Been getting that a lot lately. Yeah, like I said, there's going, you have um, angelic and divine influences that's, that's helping with regard to ending this cycle. Um, particularly if the person that you are um, involved with or you are experiencing a lot of anger. They also, this divine presence is helping to awaken you. Um, I feel like in that awakening Pisces that it's making you um, a lot more aware empath empathetically of or empathically of this person. 
um, and them of you because they're coming through also as being very empathic. Almost like the two of you um, have like a, a empathic relationship as well. And I can see that theirs is developing more so. Um, yours, it looks like, was existing. And what blocks their um, ability to do that is fear and anger. But also for you, the same thing. I, I see that fear and anger will block that between the two of you. Um, so you were very patient as far as those of you that the cycle has already ended. I see a lot of patience and balancing out for those of you that are still in this um, separation. You are patiently balancing things out emotionally. They're balancing out their emotions as well. Um, they're waiting. They're waiting for the proper time or did wait for the proper time to close out this cycle, which would put the two of you on the same page, bringing in the communication and opening up a new cycle. Um, so... The thing is, Pisces, um, it, it's making you very anxious and you're grieving. But Spirit is saying to you, relax, because this person is waiting for the right timing. It's a timing issue. All right, so let's see why judgment is here. It's very strange. It's almost like it's... Um, it's pre-orchestrated, and but it has to be done at a comfortable timing. It's hard for me to explain it, but it's like you don't know about this. Neither of you know about this, but like the divine knows about this, and so like every your guides and um, angels are very calm about it, and you're over here grieving and freaking out. And they're watching and trying to figure out. <laughs> and I can feel all of those. I can feel all of it, like each part of that. All right, so what's directly affecting this connection? Well, it's a reconciliation. Um, a reconciliation after conflict, after a, a very ugly conflict, in fact, um, I do see that this conflict, there was ego involved. And Pisces, the ego looks like it might have been on your side. Um, it might have caused you to pull back and kind of emotionally to shut down a little bit out of fear. So be careful with that, especially those of you that um, have not already closed out that cycle. The person that's connected to you, um, they're, they're afraid that this is not going to be successful. They want a new beginning, but they're, they have a fear that it won't move forward, that, it, that it's not going to be successful, that you're going to reject them. This person has a fear of rejection, but it's divinely orchestrated. Yeah, definitely is. So just be careful that the ego doesn't um, doesn't come into play with this because it, it can cause you to kind of shut things down emotionally and it will be a fear reaction. It's almost like there's, um, there's something that you might be a bit angry about for some of you and that that will sabotage this reconciliation. So let's see, um, it's, it's almost like this energy, Pisces, of this person coming in and saying to you, um, you know, kind of pouring out their feelings, and they don't usually do that, but they are going to come in and they're going to say, you know, I, I've missed you, I really love you, and 
the response that they would get back would be, well, what took you so long? You know, um, now you want to come back now that I've, I've done all this, um, you know, work on myself. Um, you know, now you want to come back into the picture and that would be very hurtful. So hopefully that's not, um, not what's going to happen. And if that is kind of how you're feeling, um, you know, this, this might be a good time to temper that. Uh, let's look at the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Let's look at your outcome. the three of wands we have the star in reverse we have the wheel of fortune and we have the six of swords okay so in your outcome Pisces what I'm seeing is that there's a situation that both of you kind of gave, almost gave up hope on, or you did give up hope possibly. Now, you might be dealing with an Aquarius, but um, I do feel like regardless, let me go ahead and say you, you have Aquarius here. There's air signs, um, fellow water signs. Sagittarius is here, Gemini, um, Cancer. Aries is here, okay? So, what I'm seeing, though, is that there's a situation that you may have given up hope. And what will happen is there's going to be a change. And it's going to be a positive change. That positive change is going to come about through a conversation, a communication. And it, this is a this is a bigger conversation. Now, I feel like your person will reach out to you. It'll be small. It's not going to be, you know, big. They'll reach out to try to kind of see if the two of you are on the same page. It's almost like um, they're going to feel feel things out. They want to feel it out, see if uh, see where you are with this. Because remember, they fear rejection. But this is the bigger conversation that's going to occur. You might be a bit defensive about this, um, at least initially, but this is what you've been waiting for. This is what you've been waiting for. It's going to be a positive change in a situation that you gave up hope on. And I feel like it's their way of moving forward. Now, they have the Six of Swords. So when they're moving forward in this particular deck, they're not moving forward alone. They're moving forward with you. So that's what they're desiring is to move forward. I see a positive change coming here with the Wheel of Fortune. Things are going to start moving again. There's going to be clarity. Bottom of the deck is the Strength card. So I do feel like, um, you know, this is a very strong connection. And I do feel like both parties here are really finding the strength and courage to work on their own issues as well as to bring this together and to end out a cycle of separation, non-communication, and I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication coming up. All right, let's see what we have. So we have the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child and growth. That's exactly what I just finished saying. So this, this is evolving. And then we also have seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, <laughs> temptation. There could be um, some third party interference that is going to be discussed. I don't feel like it's current. Um, I feel like it was during this separation. Um, but there's definitely a seduction that's going on here as well. So, all right. I hope this has been helpful for you, Pisces. If you're interested in the free tarot reading that I'm giving away at the end of the month, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also drop a comment. Until I see you next week, namaste.